Hey guys, welcome back, or hi if you're new. My name's Evita, and I like to film all kinds of girly and pink videos. I do lots of hauls, unboxings, like kind of what I'm going to do today. I do what's in my bags, room tours, that kind of stuff. So if any of that sounds like something you're into, then you might want to consider subscribing. I'm not going to say go ahead and subscribe. Obviously, watch the video. You decide at the end. Um, so today's video, I have... A TJ Maxx haul and if you guys follow me on Instagram I did do a reel last weekend when I got this stuff but for my YouTube family who doesn't have Instagram I'm gonna show you guys what I got um plus I didn't show it all because I did like a juicy reel aka what I got that was juicy couture so I did have some other stuff in the bag that I didn't post so if you do follow me on Instagram you didn't see that stuff um and then I have two PR packages and I have something I purchased and then I have my Jeffree Star Valentine's Day mystery boxes which I'm super excited. I was going to do a real or I think I was going to do an IGTV but I just figured I'm just going to do it on here. Um, Yeah so that's what we have today. I think it's going to be kind of long uh, unfortunately because I have lots of stuff to do today. Today is Saturday. Hopefully you guys see this today. As soon as I'm done, I'm going to try and get it uploaded. Um, but depending, like I said, I have stuff to do. If I don't get to do everything that I need to do and have a chance to upload it, happy Saturday or happy Sunday, whichever one it is, I don't know. Also, I should apologize for the lighting. I am sitting right by the window. So you're going to see it may get darker because it is kind of late already. It's about 3.30 four ish and I think around five it starts getting dark so depending how long I take y'all know I like to talk um, but I did want to film in front of my Jeffree Star collection since I'm doing my Jeffree Star uh, unboxing so uh, sorry I was looking at my phone uh, so as I was about to say this may be long so grab a drink I have my coffee just gonna sit it up here and I'm going to start with the TJ Maxx bag and get it out of the way. Um, I did take a lot of stuff out. I actually had like five bags. But I found so much good stuff for my daughter and my husband that day. Clothes, shoes. So I already took that stuff out and gave it to them. Um, I did open this too. And I was going to start using them. But they didn't actually fit where I wanted them to. So change of plans um i have to figure out what i need these for but this was just a four pack of like these small bins and then i got the larger set i believe i took the tag off of this one but i kind of think they were the same price six dollars and 99 cent you would think this one's cheaper but according to my receipt that i think i threw away at the beginning um they both said 6.99 so i got those two i was going to use them in my um, tax drawer. They do fit in there, but they don't fit the way that I imagined what I was going to use them for. So, um, I got these Betsy Johnson super cute um, slippers, you guys. Now, I have a slipper obsession. I have an entire basket and some. Um, these are leopard printed and they have these really pretty fluffy hearts on them. So, I have those. I did pick up this Juicy Couture long, full size, I don't know, like a long wallet with a bunch of compartments. I don't really know why I got this because it doesn't match any of the juicy purses I have. But when you see a pink wallet, you have to grab it because they go fast. Um, this was $12.99. That's a horrible way to turn it. Um, and then... I found this super cute bracelet. I'm obsessed with this bracelet. It's a Juicy Couture bracelet. But all the details. There's a little bow. There's a key. And then there's the heart that says nothing. It has a crown. But the heart is surrounded by pearls along the side, which is super cute. And I love this little heart up here. And I like the links of this bracelet. This is so unique. I don't have one like that. So I was happy to find that. And I also found some juicy earrings. These are hoops and they say juicy. 
which are cute. Um, I took the prices off of all of this. I think all the jewelry was $9.99. I took the prices off when I was doing the reel. I had put them away on those. I did find this heart shaped Juicy Couture little wristlet kind of thing. It's $9.99. It's a zipper. I'm going to use this for like change and bills if I ever carry cash. But it just opens like that maybe lip gloss or something i thought it was cute oh my gosh this literally just came off uh, it's not broken or anything it just this little opening is way too big so i'll have to ask my husband to use pliers and like push it back down but yeah so that's the coin and then i got two card cases i have been hunting for this Juicy Couture, like I guess it's like their Valentine's Day card holder. I have been hunting. I'm actually hunting for like every piece in this collection. I think they have a fold over card case and then they have a long wallet of the stuff I've seen so far. And it has a little heart open thing. This was $7.99. I just love it. And then I found this one that says Juicy. This one was... $9.99 and it has a little clip I have one like this in the lighter pink and when you unclip it you just have more card holders this one doesn't have that clip it just has slots on the front and the back but they both have a zipper which you can barely fit anything in there I don't know the zipper doesn't even go so far like it's so hard like what can you put in there I don't know um so I was going to say, this thing came off too, but it's just a little plastic. So I got those. Um, I found these super cute shorts. Um, they're just a two-pack, like a bubblegum pink and then a more muted pink, light pink. And it says Juicy on the hot pink ones. I don't think the other ones do. No, the other ones are plain. They don't say anything. Um, and they're like that velour material. They're super, super soft. And I picked these up in a size medium. And they're like sleep loungewear kind of shorts. And these were $12.99. And then... Oh. So if you guys know me, you guys know I love slide shoes. Like slip-on kinds of shoes. I have so many. Um, actually, I just posted a picture on Instagram today. You can kind of see like my collection of them. Uh, the way I like took a picture of my shelving I need to get some more room for my shoes because I don't have a lot of storage in here but these are like the most bedazzly sparkly little slides these are by Ann Klein I think they were yeah these were $29.99 I don't know why the bottom is so soft like literally so soft um, I got a size 8 they were $29.99 and yeah I even like this little detail they have back there and then this little circle says AK for incline so I thought these were so cute and I can't wait to wear those and then how could I not get these these little hair clips are like pearls one looks like a heart one looks like either a bow or an infinity whichever one you want to call it but how cute are these um $5.99 these are like those like claw kind of clips I love those and they're pearls like seriously and then look what i was so lucky to find i found this i was actually about to i have this in my cart on iheart revolution's website this is the iheart revolution rose rose fizz eyeshadow palette and this was only 6.99 and i did open it because the box was all jacked up and i was like Ey. but this is the pink one with the like gold drip and that pink and gold is so stunning. And I was like, I need that one. Um, I think they also have a pink with a silver drip. I'm kind of like, eh. Because you guys know I love gold. But this is the inside. So I had looked to make sure I didn't see any little fingerprints. So it was completely untouched. And you guys can see all my slippers all lined up. Um, in the mirror you guys are supposed to be looking at the eyeshadow so yeah so this was really pretty 
now that I have it open, I can put it on with the rest of my eyeshadows because ee, I hope I don't shake you guys. It's just been sitting in this bag and I've been dying to put it on my shelf. So I'm going to throw all of this TJ Maxx stuff back in the bag and get it out of the way because I need some room. I'm getting claustrophobic. Um, let me knock these out of the way. I ran to Target because they said the tumbler for Valentine's Day that I'm on the hunt for that I still have not found. Um, the pink lemonade tumbler, the full size one. Um, apparently you can find it better at like a Target Starbucks or a Jewel. I don't know if Jewel is in every state, but in my state they have Jewel Oscos. Um, I didn't find it. I've been to so many, but when I was in Target, I came across the infamous little $3 gumball machines from the little Target zone in the front. Um, yeah, and I had gave, given up hope on these as well. I think these came out originally last year. People were buying them out and then selling them for like $40 on Mercari and Posh, and I'm like, no way. So I had just forgot about them, and I ordered a regular full price, beautiful, beautiful um, gumball machine from Macy's. It's a gold one. And I was like, I don't need this one because I have that one. But then, you know, I found them. And they had three on the shelf and I didn't want to be greedy and take all three. Because, you know, I could have bought one for myself and sold two for like $100. But no, I just got the two and I left one in case someone else was hunting. They didn't have pink or anything. And I know that all of my pink friends have been like spray painting these. But I think I'm going to leave them white. Because like I said, I have my gold one now in my beauty room. I think I'm going to save these for, like, my daughter when we have, like, parties. Because at the age she is, I think I'm going to have, like, candy um, for the next 10 years on her little um, tables when we do parties for her. And I think these would just be cute little accents at parties. So, I think I'm going to leave these white. Um, or just to decorate, like, if it was Valentine's Day, I would put, like, pink and red things in here for St. Patty's Day. I could put some green M&M's. You guys get the gist. Um, Fourth of July, Independence Day, like red and blue. So I think if I had everything pink, then I wouldn't be able to use these to decorate or have parties. So I'm going to keep them white. That was a long conversation. I forgot to throw these in the TJ Maxx bag. I'm going to have a sip. What's next? Um, so... My last haul that I did, PR haul, the brand 107 had sent me a five pack of their squalene, I think it's like squalene um, sheet mask, which me and my husband both use one and it was so good. I was like, I'm obsessed and I still have three left and I was like, this, we have to buy some more when we're done. We put one on and we were watching Euphoria and it felt so good. Um, so they actually sent over their dewy glow serum mist so this was gifted to me by 107 and they are a korean skincare brand look how pretty this pink box is it's so pretty it matches my sweater um oh my gosh and this is pink too camera's probably making it look white but i guarantee it's pretty and it's pink um so 107 dewy glow serum mist doesn't it just sound good, like glowy? Yes. It's an easy to use mist type serum that helps impart skin with a dewy glow. Seven year fermented vinegar is formulated with rice ferment extract to produce minerals and vitamins that help moisturize and soften skin. So that's basically what was in those masks. It had the seven year fermented vinegar. I think that's like their signature brand. Um, it says you spray an appropriate amount into the palm of your hands or directly onto the face with eyes closed. Gently tap into skin and let absorb. That sounds amazing. Um, I don't think I have any serums that are like a spray like this. So that's nice. I actually put on the Saturday Skin Pore something, Pore Clarifying Serum today. And it feels really, really good. I just put um, the little dropper and let it drip down my face on both sides and then I just kind of tapped it in and that actually left my face really glowy. I had that on for like an hour before I went and put in my moisturizer 
when I went to go, it was a little bit tacky, but I don't mind that with my skincare. And then I just put on some uh, First Aid Beauty um, facial cream. So yeah, this sounds amazing. I cannot wait to try this. I am quickly falling in love with this brand, 107. I've tried a few things now, but really, really good. Speaking of skincare, girl, did y'all see that Jeffree Star Skin is coming out next Friday, the 25th? I'm so excited. So excited, you guys have no idea. He actually filmed the reveal video today, uh, and I need to watch that as soon as my daughter goes to sleep. Cannot wait. So they're going to be starting with seven project projects, seven products. Um, and I did see there's like um, an eye cream, which is so exciting. I love eye creams. Um, there's a strawberry toner, a strawberry cleanser. Uh, there's a cleansing balm. You guys know I, I'm so scared to try a cleansing balm, but of course I'm gonna try this one. Um, there was a, I think a facial mist. Um, I can't wait. I just cannot wait to try, like, everything. And I can't wait to watch the reveal. So, this is, um, a package that I got. Where did I order this from? QVC. And I'm like, H HSN and QVC, I always get confused. So, I placed an order because I was out of my Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I have the bottle on my, like, Sorbis Skincare Care So, but it's old. This lotion this cream i think the expiration date on this is only like six months and i've had mine for well over uh two years now so it kind of like dries up but the bottle is so cute i can't get rid of it so it's on my vanity for decoration and i think i could probably repurpose this if i cleaned it out look how pretty this one is though this was like a limited edition packaging like it has these beautiful flowers all on it um yeah six months is how long this is supposed to last and it comes with like the little scoop so that you don't have to dig your hands in there tatcha is just so luxurious and so high like quality like everything is like fancy about it so this is supposed to be ultra hydrating and anti-aging replenishing um japanese purple rice for dry skin so i don't have like super super dry skin i just have like normally dry skin um and i love this stuff i first started out using their water cream because i used to have um really oily skin but ever since i started like really um investing in my skincare and doing like all the steps i feel like i fixed that issue on my own um and now i just have like normal skin so I started using this one because I started testing out thicker face creams and they didn't like break me out or anything so and I like the dewy look lately not lately actually I've been lo loving the dewy look for like the last couple of years so anyway I got that um I don't know how much that was is the receipt in here it's expensive <laughs> but I don't see the receipt and this is a 2.5 fluid ounce. Uh, next, I got a package from a brand 8 Greens, I think is the name of it. And they sent over some gummies, immunity gummies that have turmeric and, I can't say this, Echinacea, um, vitamin C and zinc gummies. If that focuses and they look disgusting honestly um they say best used by september 2023 um i got them because of you know the c word and everyone being sick at my job and i just want to like make myself better so i've been taking like all kinds of like vitamin c zinc um drinking damn emergency and drinking orange juice every day and i am vaccinated and have my booster also um this says Made from eight real greens. I guess that's why it's called eight greens. So it has wheatgrass, blue algae, aloe vera, kale, spinach, spirulina, chlorella, and barley grass. So it says, um, be on the offense, not the defense. So that one's for immunity. And then this is just like their 
you know, like hair, skin, and nails kind of. This says her skin. It says it has collagen and biotin. And it's also made with the same. Oh, no. It has eight greens in it, but they're different. Green tea, broccoli, aloe vera, kale, alfalfa, peppermint, collard greens, and spinach. So this says it's supposed to help with skin glow, elasticity, hydration, reduces redness, anti-aging, thicker hair, and stronger nails. So yeah, this is what this one looks like. So yeah, I will be giving these a try um, once I can um, get enough courage to actually taste them. I think I'm going to have my husband test them first um, because that yellow one just scares me. I'm not a fan of turmeric. Um, that's the problem. And those are turmeric so or turmeric, however you want to say it. So yeah, so thank you to 8 Greens for sending those over. I'm going to try those out. And I need to hurry up. Like, this whole thing is supposed to be mostly a Jeffree Star. I did get a package from Pixie. I love Pixie. You guys have probably seen this all over Instagram. Everyone got their package and posted it. Um, This is, like, some of their rose treats. Um, I love their rose line. So they sent over um, a rose essence oil, a glowy powder, a lip nourisher, and a radiance perfector. So the radiance per perfector... It's supposed to help blur and brighten skin. It's packed with ceramides to keep skin nourished and hydrated. And it's a twist off. It's like a little tube. I love the rose line. I've used a lot of their products from the rose. Um, the rose cream, like moisturizing face cream, is one of my favorites. And the lip nourisher. It's a lip balm that leaves a hint of hint. A hint of hint. Is that what that... Oh, a hint of tint. I was like, is that really what that says? It has a little bit of tint and it softens your lips. It has rose hip oil and vitamin E. That was hard to get out. So this is just what it looks like. Oh, that is so pretty. And that's what it looks like. Should I put a little on? It feels good. Can't smell anything. So right before we started filming, I did take an allergy pill. So I'm new to allergies. It's like something that started very recently. Like since I had my daughter, I've never had allergies. And lately, like I'm telling you guys, if you guys don't have kids, pregnancy changes you. Like changes you. No one tells you all these things are going to start changing. Like, how did I all of a sudden get allergies because I had a baby? Like, what? But yes, it's true. Something I picked up since I had her. I cannot get this out. This is the glowy powder. I'm going to try and open it in here. I was going to swatch it for you guys if I can get it. I can't get it out. Oh, let's see. Can I push it from the back? Man, this is in here good. I even am using a blade. Oh my goodness. No, that's not working. Anyway, I'll give you guys a close up. This is what it looks like. And you guys know what a, a oil is. It's an essence oil. It says, it preps your skin for flawless makeup application. It's infused with rose water. And it's supposed to nourish and moisturize. And then the glowy powder also has rose extract. It's just, you can use it as a blush or a highlighter. Um, I've used plenty of the, the glowy powders in different shades. And they're beautiful. And they're, like, my favorite to use in, like, the spring and summer months. Because they are very glowy. And I do, I like to use them as blush toppers, actually. Because... They're so glowy, so like I'll put like a matte blush and then I'll put that on and I'll kind of put it a little bit higher so it looks like highlighter and blush. is just so beautiful. So thank you to Pixie for this package. I can't wait to try the oil. I have not tried that one. I don't know why I'm so into skincare lately. Like I was going to say something, but it, I don't know if there's kids watching, but... It just makes me very excited. Let's say that. 
skincare. So this last package before I open my mystery boxes is from LA Girl. They've been on a roll lately. Like I've been getting like packages back to back. They're starting to be like color pop. Sorry. I like to multitask and uh, clean while I'm opening stuff. So see, I just put all this garbage in here and I'm going to toss it that way so I can throw that out. Yeah, my husband's probably like, what the hell was that? So this is the package. It says, I'm trying to read it backwards, young, wild, and free. Bestie, bestie, and newbie cutie. I feel like I've seen this. Seen this or was it? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. So these are like some little cards that are in here. This is cute. They're like little um stickers. Road trip. I like all these are super cute stickers. Um, so they have a festy besty, which is like a festival themed palette, and then they have the nudie cutie, which is gonna be more of like an everyday neutral palette so let's get these open oh come on why is everything so hard so the bestie bestie is like coachella vibes you know this is their signature like new palettes that they've been coming out with i love these like harder case palettes like it's just so aesthetically pleasing this one is different it has like glitter i don't know if you guys can see it but it has glitter all over it it's like a clear glitter and their mirrors look at how huge and clear this mirror is like it is huge and then it does have the like plastic i'm not gonna pull it off because you guys will be able to see without it i think Maybe not. So that is the bestie bestie. So pretty. Their eyeshadows. I don't want to ruin this one because these aren't colors that I will wear. So I'm probably going to give this one away and keep the nudie palette. Um, so this might be in a giveaway. So if you guys are not subscribed, here is your chance to hit that subscribe button because you have to be subscribed to enter my giveaways. I have them very often. I'm trying to put that back. So the shade names are on here, but they're also on the back. That's why I love their palettes. Like they think of everything and this mirror is just so perfect. So yeah, so bestie bestie. And then let's open nudie cutie. And I don't know why it was just like, am I recording? I had to look at the camera for a second. I got scared. I'm obsessed with this packaging. This is the prettiest pink. Oh my gosh. And then the back, it's a little bit darker pink. This is so pretty. My goodness. So the same thing. This one is like, it's like clear on the sides. You guys aren't going to be able to see that. And then it has like glitter. This is so, so pretty. Ooh, don't break a nail. Let's use the scissors. Scissors blade box cutter so i'm not gonna lie this looks like stuff that i have um but i love this packaging and these glitters i am gonna go ahead and swatch this one because i'm gonna keep it even though you know we all have these shades i'm gonna go for the for the glitters those are my favorites oh oh I'm going to go for this one. This one in the corner is like a more chunkier glitter. If you guys can see. So those were the ones I picked up. And I said, don't forget to grab wipes before you start filming. Since you're opening mystery boxes, you know you're going to be swatching some stuff. And did I? No. But they're not that far. I'll grab them. Oh my gosh. These are so pretty. You guys see that? Whoa. 
So just this one right here is a little bit more like barely there. But look at those other ones. And that's just because that's the kind of shape that I picked up is that one that you can barely see is this one here. All right, let me grab some white so I'm up. Excuse-moi. Oh. All right. So, yeah, so this is a beautiful freaking palette. If you guys are not familiar with LA Girl, they're very affordable. Um, they have a website, lagirl.com. And then they're also sold at CVS and Ulta. Ulta doesn't usually have as much stuff as your like local CVS, so... If you guys are interested in this palette, I would check CVS first. Um, but Ulta might have it also. And definitely the LA Girl website. And they're very affordable. I'm not exactly sure how much this is, but it can't be more than 20 bucks. Like, they are very affordable. They actually make really, really good concealers, too. If you're looking for a really affordable uh, concealer, definitely check out theirs. So... I got that off, so I'm going to sit those right there and keep them handy. And then, let's see, I was going to see if they had the price. Um, I'm going to get rid of this because, like I said, the shade names are in the back, and this is the one I'm keeping. And, yes, go ahead and make sure you guys are subscribed because I'm definitely going to be putting Festy Bestie in a giveaway. Um... They don't have any, like, price information. Oh, wait. There were some papers that came in here. Oh, available at Ulta. See? I knew I should have read that. So, they're available at Ulta, but they don't say how much they are. But, yeah. Now, you guys know. LAgirlusa.com or Ulta. Super cute. I'll probably... No, I'm not. I was going to say, I'll probably give the stickers away, too. But, no. I forgot. My daughter loves stickers. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to open this. Do you guys know how hard it has been to avoid all of the freaking spoilers? Oh, Jesus. I'm like, hold on. I have not opened my boxes. I'm like, I don't want to see. I did see um one or two, but... I clicked off immediately and I don't know if that was something that's in everyone's or if they're all different. I really don't know. Um, but one of the items that I saw, I am hoping I got. Um, but if I didn't, I'm going to be mad because it's so pretty. There's a bunch of tissue paper. I'm just going to toss it over. And then I guess... Oh my gosh, this is so big. Hold for thumbnail. I'm just kidding, I don't know what that is. But that was cute. So, we have the Deluxe and the Supreme. Let me get these out of this box. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. I love this. So we have the deluxe on top, and then this is the supreme. And I'm gonna start with the deluxe one. So pretty. Let me see, Let's see if I can turn this box upside down and make one for the little table. There we go. All right. So we're gonna start with the deluxe. This one was a hundred dollars, and this one has nine items. Just going to go ahead and open her up, and I'm going to. He got the item. It's literally like right on top. Oh my gosh! So if you guys did not get spoilers like me, then you probably haven't seen it, or maybe you did. Look at it! It's this cute little heart shape bag, and it's supposed to be a crossbody because it has. Yes, it has the little holders on the side. This is so cute. It has a strap inside. And it just has the Jeffree Star logo. It's a star with the... Does it have... Yeah, I was like, it does not have the logos. It is the Jeffree Star. Okay. 
Isn't that cute? I'm trying to so you guys can see it like tilted. But yes, yeah, so it's just this really, really pretty hot pink. And then it has a strap. And then here's how you put the strap on. So it's like going to be like a little crossbody. But it's like so cute and petite. Like what are you putting here? Your Jeffree Star glosses and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, my phone doesn't fit in here. I cannot wait to use this. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is the item that I saw and I was like... Really, guys, like hold your hold your boxes until I open mine. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm just as excited seeing it here as if I didn't see it. Oh my gosh, my floor is a mess. It's giving me anxiety. Oh, they even have like a little Jeffree Star skin teaser in here. That's so cool. Let's, where can we put this? I'm just trying to put it somewhere. So I have a mini breaker eyeshadow palette in here. Uh, I'm not gonna open this. Do I have one handy? Oh, I'm gonna die trying to get to it. So. This is what the mini breaker palette looks like in case you guys don't know. Um, obviously, I'm not going to open that one because, yes, you guessed it. That will be in a giveaway. And this one has been used and abused a little bit. So I actually have a brand new one too. This is the one that I was using. Uh, so that's the mini breaker. And, ow, almost broke a nail. So, let's just put that there for right now. What else do I have? Oh my god, I love this. <sighs> yes, I got a la uh, lavender magic star setting powder. The lavender one is like one of my favorite setting powders. So, that's because I have like this coloration and stuff and this one oh they don't really say but you guys know the whole color wheel thing and what the purple is for so this is the lavender one look at how beautiful his packaging is i don't know if there's like people watching this who's not familiar with his packaging but it's so pretty and I will open the top it does have a sifter is that what they're called that you kind of like slide it's so pretty yay this I definitely need. Um, next, there's a Supreme Frost in here in Money Honey. Ooh, I have that too. I mean, do I have everything that's in here? I'm over here like, ooh. oh my gosh, I literally just saw something. You guys are going to freak out because it's going to go in a giveaway too. So this is Money Honey. And let me see if I can get mine. I'll swatch mine for you guys. I don't want to swatch any of this stuff that I'm not keeping because I don't want to ruin it. Um, it's going to be so hard for me to get to anything. Money Honey, where are you? Sorry guys, I'm like trying to find it. I got caught like this. Do I have it in another spot? I'm like, I don't see it. If I don't find it, I can't swatch it for you guys. I don't see it. Um... Does that mean I don't have it? Look at me like, wait. If I, I know I have it. I just don't see it here. So I have more stuff down here, but obviously my chair is blocking it. I don't want to move my whole setup. So 
maybe I will swatch this one. No, but I totally want to put this one in a giveaway. No, I won't swatch it, but you guys will have to look up a swatch. Ooh, I don't have this. This must be another new item. So this is a velour liquid lipstick in the shade Pink Kitten. Doesn't that sound pretty? Focus. Pink Kitten. And it's in this pretty red metallic packaging. Just in case it splashes. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's what it looks like. I would describe it as, I think I got an eyelash, as like, um, it kind of looks like a fuchsia color because you can kind of see like a shift in it. It almost looks like pink purple. So I would definitely say like a fuchsia like color. I don't know. It just looks like bright cherry red on here, which it's not. This is pretty. I like this. So, obviously, keeping for my collection because I don't have that one. I don't know why I put it back in the box. Uh, let's wipe that off before I get that all over. So, there's five, six more items to go. Oh, I need to wipe, you guys. So this is going to be difficult because now I'm forced to go through all of my single eyeshadows to see if I have these. There's five, no I can't count, there's four single eyeshadows in here. I don't remember which ones I have, but there's four in this box. Um, there's tax free, that doesn't sound familiar. There's Bite Me, I think. Sounds familiar. Heavy Weighted. And The Morgue. I know I have The Morgue because that's in the cremated palette. Um, okay, you guys see I'm doing things because I don't want to open them. So, that's one. Um, heavy Weighted. This is Bite Me and Tax Free. Tax Free might be in the Money Honey, Money Honey collection. It looks like it would be. And then I have a Posh Spice liner, which I'm going to put in the giveaway because I have all of the liners. Those are the liners. If you want to see what the packaging looks like, um, doo -doo -doo. and posh spice is like a very like brownish nudie color. So this is what it looks like, and that's the color of it at the bottom. So I'm gonna put that back in there and not swatch. Uh, so yeah, guys, like I said, if you're not following me, then you're not going to be able to join my giveaway. So you might want to subscribe if you're interested in any of this stuff. These are so hard to get back in the box all the time. So pretty sure I have all four of these. So I'm going to put those over here. And then I cannot believe this is in here. Holy shit. I haven't opened nine things yet. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maybe they counted this as one. I swear there's supposed to be nine in here. Or is this the Supreme? I don't know. I thought this was the deluxe. We I guess we'll see when we get to it. To the other one. 
but I thought this was the last item, and when I picked this up, there's something else in there. So this is the Orgy freaking eyeshadow palette. The Orgy eyeshadow palette. Hold a second. Come on, come on, work with me. Work with me. You can't. That's not. Oh, that is. It. So this is the Orgy eyeshadow palette. It's huge. It's beautiful. It's like the perfect nude palette. So this is what they freaking sent. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I cannot believe that's in the box. This box is so worth it. So anyone who got it, who does not already own half of jeffreystar.com so yeah so that's going in the giveaway and then yes I have this too and yes this will be probably in a giveaway too probably because I love this and I always need the minis for my purse but this is the open here for nudes mini velour liquid lipsticks and this is what they look like I have, you guys can't see because it's the shelf above that, but I have open here for nudes 1 and volume 2. This is actually volume 2. Um, and then I have the Equality Lip Bundle, the Money Honey, Queen Bitch, and Blue Blooded. And the Love Me, Love Me Not. Sorry, I'm looking. I have a mirror behind you guys, and it's facing up there, so that's why I was looking that way. So yeah, this is the volume 2 nude, so you get in here... Um, I'm nude, birthday suit, top shelf, Christmas cookie, hidden heels, dominatrix, family, jewels, and tasty. That's what they look like. And I'm going to set this over here and we'll decide if that's going in the giveaway or not. But yeah, so that's everything that was in this box. I'm actually going to put the stuff that I think is going in the giveaway back in it. So, Orgy, the Nudes, the Mini Breaker, the Supreme Frost, the Eyeshadows, and the Liner. So, I'm keeping this cute little pouch and the Lavender Setting Powder and the Pink Kitten Velour. So... And put this down and then we'll open the other box so i thought that was the mini i mean the mini the deluxe and this is the supreme yeah that was the i swear was there more than nine in there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven there was actually eleven items in there no twelve one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they counted the eyeshadows as one item. That's what it is. If you don't count all four of those single eyeshadows and just count it as one item, that makes it nine. So that's what they did, which is really cool. All right, so let's open the Supreme. So with this one, you had to pick a size. So I'm assuming there's a pair in here. Um, and I got the medium, so... Here we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, I was going to say they did send another one, but this is the volume one. So we got to open here for nudes. I'm surprised they didn't send the Love Me, Love Me Not since it's a Valentine's Day collection. So in this one, you get Skin Tight Mannequin Celebrity Skin Posh Spice. Rose Matter, Gemini, Leo, and, and Androgyny. I don't know why I got tongue tied. So this is what those look like. And then, let's see if I can put this down. There was another one of these about the Jeffree Star skin coming out on Friday. And ooh, ooh, that's so cute. I can see like the little 
the sign. I'm over here like trying to see what else. <clears throat> so, oh my gosh, this is so cute. So that's the front of it, and it has like the Jeffree Star logo with like a broken heart, and the back says Heartbreaker. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. This is cute. And yes, I'm so happy I got a medium because the medium t-shirt fit me perfectly from his brand. So I got that. Um, <laughs> guess what, guys? There's another orgy palette in this box as well. And let's open this because I don't know what this is. So this has no name. Usually they'll put like the other one said mini breaker, so maybe this is a surprise. Maybe this is something I don't have. Heartbreaker. Skin Frost Highlighter Palette. Oh my gosh, look at this packaging. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Oh my gosh. So these are three new shades. Like, we do not have these Skin Frost shades. Single Forever, Murderous, Fun, and Frosty Heart. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see that? So yes, this is definitely all new shades, and this is limited edition, and usually the way his uh, mystery boxes are is um, if you don't buy them, the items that are exclusive, he never launches on his site, so I'm not sure if it's going to be the same case for this, so if you didn't get the mystery box, you might not have a chance to pick this up unless you buy it from someone, uh, so I'm excited about that actually and oh my gosh there's glosses i love the glosses i love the glosses i don't care if i have the shades i always keep the glosses Ooh, so this one is uh, obvious i'm keeping it's let me be perfectly clear that's this one right here it's just a clear gloss i'm not gonna open it it's just a clear gloss and you always need a freaking clear gloss and his glosses are amazing they are actually hydrating and they don't dry your lips and they smell like freaking vanilla cream soda so yeah so keeping that and then i got this shade control freak i don't think i have this and i'm like i mean even if i do i'm keeping it but i think this is a new shade and i'm dying to get into it right now Ooh, this is so pretty it's like a baby freaking pink it has no shimmer in it it's just like all pink. I'm over here like, uh, let's just put it on. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. This reminds me of a shade that I used to have from Victoria's Secret. A long time ago when Victoria's Secret used to have their makeup line. And it also reminds me of a matte gloss. That is so beautiful. So yeah, I got something new. I'm excited. Guys, when I usually buy my mystery boxes, um, most of the time I end up putting everything in a giveaway because I usually own everything, but it's worth it to me um, for like the items like that that I come across. Um, there's a lip scrub in Rainbow Sherbert. Not sure a hundred percent if that's a new one, but these are all my lip scrubs here, and I usually keep them. 
um, because you guys know lip scrubs dry out. So I'm not going to open this one because I don't want it to like open. Um, but I'm going to keep it. You can never have too much lip scrub. <laughs> Clearly. There's a velvet trap in here in Ranch Girl. And I want to say that's a new shade because this whole ranch thing is pretty new. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys see cameras making this look a lot brighter. This is like a beautiful like terracotta kind of color. Like a burnt. Oh, see every time I get close it looks so neon. This is not like a hot orange or anything. I wish you guys could see. See it's not so bright. This is beautiful. My gosh. This is so my kind of color. It's like he knew to send the colors to me that I am drawn towards. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Me and Jeffrey were we're right here. We're right here. So yeah, needless to say, I'm keeping that. Um, and I'm going to wipe that off before I get it all over my pink sweater. Or my pink pants. So there is a... Allegedly... Allegedly... It's so hard to keep up with like the colors that I have. Allegedly. I don't know if I have this one. So, if I, I have to go through my collection. If I don't have this one, it'll be in a giveaway. But this is another liner in the shade Allegedly. And it's a red. Pretty sure I have this. I'm pretty sure I have this. So, yeah. So, we have that. And then we have Cutthroat Love. This is a new shade um, of Allure Liquid lipstick and my gosh there's something in here that I'm like dying to see what that is this is what it looks like I will swatch it cutthroat love did I say that right cutthroat love yes so this is more of like a wine colored burgundy red like a, a deeper red. It's not so bright. See from back here, it looks true. When I get up, it looks brighter. But it's more like a wine color, I would say. Like crimson red, if that makes sense. So I don't have that. So I'm keeping that and I'm going to wipe it off well, before it dries. I can probably get it all off. Trying to get it off before you know it like starts to stain all right what else do we have oh my god is this a concealer yes so this is actually one of the magic star color correctors this is the yellow one um and actually i need this because you know concealers foundations they all start to expire and i have not re like re um purchased any of my concealers since they actually launched so they need to be replaced so I'm probably gonna chuck the old one and put this one out I'm trying to see so this is supposed to be replaced after 12 months so this does not look yellow but maybe that's just because of this stupid lighting that I have yeah this is yellow that's yellow so, it's just yellow. So, I'm going to take that off. I am keeping that, like I just said. And then there's five. What is that? There's one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I was trying to see what everything being so nosy. There's five shadows in here. There's Weirdo, which I have, Winter Wind, 
Casper Mountain. I don't have that one. Owl Eyes and Star Creek. I'm going to have to research the ones I have. Let me get a little closer. So this is Star Creek. Owl Eyes. Casper Mountain. Which is Wyoming, you know. Winter Wind and weirdo i'm pretty sure weirdo i have the other ones i like don't think i do i'm not 100 percent sure well i know for sure i don't have the casper mountain because it's recent that he's been in wyoming that he pulled or so let's see what else there's a supreme gloss okay please forgive me I actually forgot about this formula. I st I'm so in love with the gloss formula that I don't e reach for my Supreme Glosses so much. I always forget about them. Um, and because I don't think I found storage for them. So out of sight, out of mind. I think they're actually in this drawer in a cup. And I totally forgot about this formula. So this is, please forgive me. I don't know if I have this one. I'm not going to swatch it because I might. But the Supreme Glosses are like a more um, opaque like color. They're not so sure. Sheer. Like they will look like this on your lips. Um, so I am going to put this one to the side. So this is like full pigment kind of a gloss. I'm going to put this one here just in case I have it. Um, it'll go on a giveaway. And then I have this in here. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a selfie light. And it's shaped like a star. How cute. Oh my god, and it's pink. <laughs> the little things. So, oh my god, this is so cute. Oh my god, does it come with the. Oh, and it comes with like the little cord to charge it. So this is the back. It has the Jeffree Star logo. This looks like one of the first like pink mirrors. And then this is the light part. Oh my gosh. And you know you just clip it to your phone. That is so cool. Where's the on button? How? Oh, there's a little button up here where you charge it. And there's a button next to it that I cannot press with my nails. I don't know if it's charged. That's why I'm like... Oh my gosh, it's charged. Look at that. Does it have different settings? Oh, so it has warm and cool. That's awesome. That's the warm one. And so that's warm, like high warm. That's cool. And that's more like a lower warmish color. That is so cool. Obsessed. I needed one of those too. I have one that Pixie sent me. And I have an elf one. I can't find my elf one. But you can never have so many selfie lights, right? And then look, you guys. Look at how cute this is. I got a hand mirror. I got the hard rigger hand mirror in here. This is so freaking cool. And I'm going to take the sticker off. Alright, let's just do it. Let's just cut it open. I love this. So, I want to say the Heartbreaker Skin Frost palette thingy was the other sneak peek that I saw. But I'm telling you, I literally clicked off so fast. I didn't. I just saw Heartbreaker. So, I think that was what it was. So, it was that in the bag. Because we're done. By the way, this is the last item. This is like my favorite item out of everything. I'm obsessed with this. And the mirror. Like seriously. This is so cool. And the coin bag. It's like all the accessories for me. And that gloss. It looks so good on my lips. 
so yeah so that is what i got in my box if you guys ordered the mystery boxes like did we get the same thing like i don't even know now i'm probably gonna go and stalk all of my jeffree star um friends and see what they got in theirs and again make sure you guys are subscribed because there is a whole bunch of stuff that's going in the giveaway um probably the supreme gloss but yeah i have two orgy palettes open for nudes one and two um glosses probably four or five eyeshadows i don't know which ones i have there's a mini breaker there's a supreme frost like all of this all of this is going in there so from this box i'm keeping my mirror the selfie light um what else was it the heartbreaker skin frost the magic star yellow concealer the ranch girl velvet trap and the cutthroat love floor and the gloss and control freak oh and the rainbow sherbet did i even tell you guys what flavor it was rainbow sherbet sherbet uh lip scrub so that's what i'm keeping so oh my gosh i got a lot from this box that i'm actually able to keep um i don't know if i mentioned that one was supposed to have 15 items the other one was nine nine and 15 yeah and the big one did i tell you was 180 so 100 for the deluxe and the supreme was 180 so 280 for both boxes so yeah so I'm extremely happy. I cannot wait to put everything on my little uh, shelving. And I will be going through my liners to see if I have both of those. I'm going to go through my single eyeshadows and see if I have those. So yeah, everything else will be in a giveaway. I'm probably going to be doing that really soon. And it's going to be, like I said, on my YouTube channel. Um, I will probably say follow me on Instagram. So if you guys want to get a head start and go ahead and follow me, it will be linked at the bottom of this video. And yeah, that's it. I don't have anything. Oh, hair in the gloss. Gotta love that. So I don't have anything else to tell you guys. Um, I'm going to end this because I just looked at the time and it's way over an hour. And my coffee's warm. That's how you know this video is too long. I need to go warm it up in the microwave. So... I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys were new, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you are going to subscribe. Look, even the sun went down. I told you guys in about an hour. This is my perfect lighting. This is what I like. I know the sun is supposed to be all good and everything, but I like it when it's like this, when the sun's not shining. I should start filming later, but anyway, I'm hungry. My husband's making a pizza, so I'm about to go eat some pizza with coffee because I, I i do like pizza and coffee together and we're gonna go finish netflix and chilling because we're watching and venting anna on netflix if you guys have not seen it you guys should see it i will tell you what it's all about but i need to stop rambling so just go on netflix type in inventing anna don't even type it in it's in the top 10 just click on it start watching it i love you guys see you on the next one bye